Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again, and it may be the launch day for AMD's Ryzen Threadripper, but that's not going to stop the leaks from coming through on Radeon RX Vega. Looks like we've got some few numbers that have leaked out thanks to 3D Mark. Uh, you can thank the reviewers who just got their cards in recently who did not unplug from the internet or at least have it disabled or used advanced mode whatever but they still let the results leak on there's quite a few on here but what we did thanks to the guys over at video cards who were gracious enough to post all the results that they got together was we kind of took the middle of the road numbers we didn't take the highest numbers we didn't take necessarily the lowest numbers just to get a general idea of the average of the results that are coming through now they did test fire strike performance extreme and ultra as well as 3d mark time spy so what we've done is we've taken the numbers that were there, ran our own numbers for the GTX 1080 Founders Edition and the GTX 1070 Founders Edition because uh, over at Video Cards they compared it to the aftermarket Gaming X variants, uh, but we wanted to see kind of the stock for stock, the factory versus factory, you know, just the basic run of the mill, what the results were going to be. So. Let's go ahead and run through those results. First off, we've got, of course, 3D Mark Fire Strike showing the Vega 64 coming in at 22,202. That's slightly ahead of the GTX 1080's 22,047, but considerably ahead of the GTX 1070, which would be expected because Vega 64 is intended to be the 1080 competitor. Moving over to Fire Strike Extreme, we see a little bit more of a lead there for RX Vega. It actually comes out 10,787 versus 10,353, so a 400 point lead there. That's a you know that's an okay margin, but I mean you can see it's clearly much faster than the GTX 1070. Moving to Fire Strike Ultra, it actually picked up thanks to I'm going to just go ahead and do on a limb here and say thanks to the high bandwidth memory, it actually picks up a good bit of leg room and leads by about 500 points. So this is gonna show where it's gonna be an interesting battle once they actually come out with the RX Vega hits the market is to see how things perform in a 4K load because unlike the Fury X, it will not be limited by the GPU memory. Uh, moving on to time spot, we see the GTX 1080 take the lead here on this one by a couple hundred points over the RX Vega 64, which isn't unsurprising because of the way things are in 3D Mark time spot. And I'm sure there's plenty of people out here that would argue the advantages or disadvantages of the type of asynchronous compute, but that's a story for a different day, and we're not really going to get into that debate. The numbers so far are not bad. They're actually looking pretty good for RX Vega 64, but it makes me more excited to see what RX Vega 56 can do since it's going to be competing with that 1070, but my prediction is it's going to be about 5 to 7% slower than the RX Vega 64. So that will be interesting to see nonetheless. But again, keep it locked here for more information as we get it. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. If you found the video informative or entertaining in the least, feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do with those, and we will catch you in the next video.